For this next tutorial, you will be making the background. So I'm using the ultramarine blue, white, and as you can see on the right side of my palette, I already made an orange. So I'm mixing a little bit of the blue, the white, and a tip, tad bit of the orange. Um, orange is in the foreground or the middle ground, and it's reflecting into um, the background. So that's why I'm adding a little bit of the complementary color. Now I want to make a dark tone, a dark volume, I'm still taking a little bit of the orange, not too much because I don't want to create brown. So ultramarine blue, a little bit of the light to make a, um, a medium tone. So I'm making a light and a medium and a dark using the same colors, just different variations of the colors. So I'll start with the dark and I'll start with the the shadows. So this is the shadow on the right side and there's a piece of drapery that comes directly down to the pumpkin on the left side on the top and then on the upper left. So I'm using a very big brush, your biggest brush you would use. This is a 12 flat, but your biggest brush to do these big areas. And I'm kind of fanning out the, um, the shape so that it's not just a line. And I'm doing it very fast so that I can work um, all the layers in quickly. So it's important to pre-mix so that you can go and make the, the layers. And make a big amounts of paint so that you don't have to remix in the middle. So I just added in some darks to show where the, um, the curtain is coming into the picture plane. And I'm going to next add my um, mid-tone. And I'm making sure that when I work that I try to cover as much of the canvas as possible the first time around so I don't have any of those white marks that come through. So I'm putting a lot on my brush. And I'm not being super careful with it. I mean, I'm going right up to the pumpkin going right up to the darker value and trying to blend them a little bit together because this is just my first pass. If I turn my brush on my side, I can go up to the pumpkin easier than if I turn it flat. And as you can see, I'm going in the direction of how the drapery um, is going across the background. It's more at an angle. And then as it comes towards the, the table, it goes more up and down. So this is just a mid-tone right now. And I'm blending it into my darker values, which I'll have to go back and glaze a bit more in, but I'm establishing the background pretty quickly. And I'm gonna build layers on top of this. So it's important to just apply a lot of paint. If you go into the form with the paint, you can always take a, a clean brush and water and push the paint out of the form while it's still wet. You could use a paper towel and kind of wipe it off as well. That way you can keep your form nice and clean before you go in with the warm colors. So I'm using the same middle tone over here on the, on the right side. And I'm going to, I'm going to go right up to the object. I'm still using a really big brush. And you may not get the exact same blue that's in the picture, and that's okay. Especially because we have one blue in our palette. So you can see that that little bit of shadow helped divide um, where the fold of the curtain is. Now I'm noticing right behind the squash that it's actually quite dark. It's almost like a black shadow. So I'm adding black to my blue and going back over um, the shadow on the right and a little bit of the shadow on the pumpkin and that triangular shadow in between um, the three forms to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Just reestablishing a few, a little bit of the lines of where the tablecloth hits the, uh, or the background hits the table. I'm going to load up my brush now. And I'm going to do the lighter areas of the painting. So I'm using the light mass. 
I'm mixing a little bit of white into the blue. Go right up to those um, shadows and you can blend in at this stage. If you're working fast, you can blend in any of those shadows so that they don't feel like harsh lines. And then here I come with the light mass. And I'm really just filling it in at this point, just diagonal going across, um, thinking about how the drapery falls. And going right up to that shadow mass and right up to my pumpkin with it, with the brush. I don't want to see any halos around the objects. You know, really going right up to the to the objects. And if you feel more comfortable going up to the objects with a smaller brush, you can. I'm just establishing the light against the dark right here on the curtain and cleaning up my brush strokes. Um, I want them to be soft as it is drapery. So I'm just kind of feathering out some of my brush strokes, which I'll come back in again after I'm done with this layer. Add a little bit of light on the left corner. Not all the way across my medium tone, but just the left. So that I have more than one value. And a little bit of light that comes on top of this um, part of the drapery. Again, I'm still looking at my reference. I have not quit looking at my reference as I work. I suggest you have both as you work. So just kind of feathering in some of the um, dark mass into the light mass and the medium tone. So that it's not completely blended, but it is, it's blended enough that there isn't a really harsh line. 